machen. Alright, section number 10 is still dealing with polynomials. We are going to talk about multiplying them. Multiplication of polynomials. Times the 2. Well, 4 times 2 is 8. 
times x, 8x. I don't think I have any x's, so I'll write 8x over there. Now, the problem with these types of problems is you quickly write too much on the problem. So now we have to distribute the 1, the negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 just changes the sign. Negative 1 times 3x. Let me put it on the bottom like I've been doing. Multiplying by negative 1, multiplying something by negative 1, you just get the same something with a sign change. Negative 1 times 3x cubed, and then negative 1 times 7x, and then negative 1 times positive 2. Instead of 3x cubed, I get negative 3x cubed. Instead of an undisturbed plus 7x, I get minus 7x. I get minus 2. So minus 3x cubed, I'll put under the other x cubed. Minus 7x, I'll put under the other x's. And minus 2 is all by itself. I just lined up the things that were like. They'll make life easier. Positive 35 is just 35. 35 minus 3, 32. 10 plus 28, 30. Plus 12x is 4. 8 minus 7 is just 1x, or x, minus 2. Now, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 720 different ways of writing down this answer. Uh, only in one of them would have to be correct. The first one should have been 15x to the fifth. Why are there 720 different ways? Because you could rearrange them in any order you like. You could have said 32x cubed first, and then 12x to the fourth next, and then minus 2 next, and plus 15x to the fifth next, and then plus 38x squared next, and then plus x last. You could have said it that way. And trust me, there's 720 different ways of writing that down. Now, possibly, and I'm not your teacher, possibly, so I don't know these, I don't know what the answer to the question I'm about to say, but if your teacher says it has to be in descending order, well, then there's only one answer, and you could have done everything I did so far, and then one more line. 15x to the fifth is, so x to the fifth is the largest term. Then we have x to the fourth, plus 12 of them. And then we have plus 32x cubed. And then we have plus 38x squared, and plus x, and minus 2. I would not go from this line to this line unless my teacher insisted on it. After all, you could have made a mistake. Here, you get full credit. And if you go to the last, the next line, maybe by error you would have said plus 2 instead. And to the point, why do more at the risk that you might lose points? Why do more when you might have needed that time for another problem? The moral is don't do more than you need to. takes time away from other problems and it leaves the opening you're making a silly mistake. Okay, let's do a couple more. 7x to the 5th minus 2x plus 1 times 3x take away 4. I need to multiply each of these three terms by each of those two terms. The order is up to you. But again, I would deal with the first term first. The first times the first term, the first times the second. Then I would do the second times the first, and the second times the second. And then I would do the same with plus one. Okay, so let us do this one first. 7x to the fifth, excuse me, 7x to the fifth times 3x. 
7 times 3 is 21. There's an undivided 1 here. x to the 5th times x to the 1 is x to the 6th. So we get 21 x to the 6th. Now I'll do 7x to the 5th times negative 4. Positive times negative is negative. 7 times 4 is 28 times x to the 5th. Minus 28x to the 5th. And that's done. That being distributing the 7x to the 5th. So let me erase this on the bottom. Now I distribute the negative 2x. Negative 2x times 3x. And then negative 2x times negative 4. Well, look. A negative times an undisputed positive is negative. And 2 times 3 is 6. And x times x is x squared. Minus 6x squared is different from any of the terms I already wrote. So I put it here. Minus 6x squared. And now we come over here. A negative times a negative is positive. And 2 times 4 is 8. Times x is positive 8x. It's a new type of term. I didn't break down x's yet. Okay, now the next one, I want that to be like first grade, but you have to think for a moment. If you think for a moment, it is first grade. Why not just do 1 times all of this? 1 times that is just 3x minus 4. I mean, you want to do 1 times 3x is 3x, fine. And 1 times negative 4 is negative 4, fine. But I'll just do 1 times the whole thing. There weren't too many cases where we had like terms and factors only one. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11x minus 4. And there's your answer. And in this case, it's even in descending order. The largest power, the smallest power. Descending order does not mean you have to fill in the missing terms. It just means Put the highest power first, and the next highest power second, etc. Okay. 2x plus 7 times 3x take away 4. 2x times 3x. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. 2x times negative 4. An understood positive times a negative is negative. 2x times negative 4. A positive times a negative is negative. 2 times 4 is 8 times x. Minus 8x. Positive 7 times 3x. 7 times 3 is 21 times x. Positive 21x. Put them under the other x's. Positive 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. You could have put the negative 28 up there. It doesn't matter. And when I combine my terms, 21 minus 8 is 13. That 13 x minus 28. And there it is. There is your answer. Right. Now, how about we have a problem like this? Well, think about how we're going to do it first. Suppose you have this, multiplying three things. Well, if you had to do 6 times 2 times 4, you wouldn't do 6 times 2 and also 6 times 4. Oh, I'm sorry. 2x plus 3. Okay, you wouldn't do this, you wouldn't distribute the 6. That is, you would do 2 first. You would do, say, 6 times 2, get 12, and then take that answer, 12, multiply it by 4. That is, you can invoke the associative law. Do the first two first. Okay, you do the first two first. 
And then whatever answer you get, you multiply that answer by x plus 4. 2x times x, well, x times x is x squared. 2x times negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 times x. And then you have 3x's plus 3x's, and then you have minus x. And this answer gets multiplied by x plus 4. So what is that answer? The answer is, well, if you got negative 4 in a number line, and you add 3, 1, 2, 3, you should know you get to negative 1. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. We have negative 1x minus x. And this gets multiplied by x plus 4. Now we have another multiplication here. Every term in the first bracket gets multiplied by every term in the second bracket. 2x squared times x. Well, x squared times x is x cubed. 2x squared times 4. 2 times 4 is positive 8 x squared. Negative 1x times x is negative x squared. Negative 1 times positive 4 is minus 4x. Okay, I could have lined up the x squared, but then for some reason. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times negative, excuse me, times positive 4 that's negative 24. And the final answer is, you have 2x cubed. These are like terms. You know, and this is 1 there. Positive 8 or 8 minus 1 is 7. So you have 7x squared. Negative 4 minus 6. Work it out. That's minus 10. Minus the 24. Okay. And there's your answer. This is how you would multiply more than two terms. We, we're asked to multiply. I meant to say factors. Factors are things that are being multiplied. You're being asked to multiply this, this, and this. Being asked, those are called factors. You're being asked to multiply three of them. Multiply two first, multiply that answer by the third. And that finishes the section on multiplication of